Today in Heather's Outdoor Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to cook up some Louisiana crawfish, or as we call them, mud bugs. What I do to catch my mud bugs is I get me a stick with some string and a weenie and put it on the end of that string and I go down to the creek behind my house and I try to catch me some for a bowl. But it took me like three to four days to get that many. Most people go and buy them. Shoot, not me. I go to the creek. This is perfect crawfish bait. It ain't nothing but a good old weenie. You won't get you a piece of it. Tie it onto your string. Just thread it through there like that. And tie it on. I spend a lot of time down here getting enough for a little crawfish bowl, let me tell you. Then you got your string and your stick. And you just throw it in there and wait for one to get on. Oh, I see a big crawfish coming out. First thing you gotta do is you gotta uh, scoop them up and give them a bath because they dirty. This ain't going as easy as I thought it would. Scoop some up and oh, give them a ow, give them a little shower. Oh, ow, they don't like their bath. Oh, wash them off real good because you don't want none of that mud on them while you boiling them up. Put them in the other bucket. Then you get you some more. And spray them off too real good. Like that. That's what you gotta do. Give them a good old bath. So what you're gonna wanna do whenever you boil your mud bugs is get you a little pot. And you gotta make sure it's got a little basket. So you can dip them down and bring them back up. You're going to want to fill it up to about right here with water. Right there. When it comes to seasoning your water, you're going to want to put about a stick to two sticks of butter in there. I figure that's about two sticks. Then here in Louisiana, we like to season our stuff with some Zatarans. You only gonna wanna put about a sprinkle, okay? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Just a sprinkle. You don't want it too hot. Whenever you have a crawfish boil, them little crawfish don't have much meat, so you always gotta make sure to have your fillers. Us, we kinda like to have our mushrooms, sausage, and these here red taters and uh, corn come out of my garden. Come here, hey, help me shut this corn. Come here, come here. Here, shut that corn. You know how to shut corn? No. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's like opening. What am I doing with it's this? It's like opening. On the it's like opening a Christmas present. You just keep going to you. Oh look, you got a lot of hair too. You gotta get the hair off. Look, things gotta grow. <laughs> supposed to have a little thing on it? Yes. <laughs> get all the hair off. No lot of hair corn. Damn size. Shuck that corn. You smell that seasoning? Mm-mm. That's gonna be some good mud bugs. Fry flies. <laughs> You're gonna wanna take them and pour them in the pot. Can't forget your mushrooms. Then you're 
gonna take your pot and drop it off in there. Like that. And while you wait on your uh, fillers in your crawfish bowl, just get drunk. I mean, you ain't got nothing else to do. Let me tell you, whenever you go to eat them, you're going to want just as many beer then, too. Tell everybody hi again, Gumbo. <laughs> oh, you getting a little more talkative every time we do this, Gumbo. Cooking in the kitchen with Gumbo. Cooking in the kitchen with Gumbo. Come on, Gumbo. We're going to go sit back here and drink us some beer. You want some beer, Gumbo? You want some beer, Gumbo? Here you go. Get you some. That, that's some good stuff, huh, Gumbo? We like our beer with our cookouts, me and Gumbo. <laughs> Who's mama got? <laughs> Which mama got, Tommy? Who is mama got, Tommy? You gonna say hi to the camera, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> tell him about it. Tell him about Gumbo. You better get away from my mama. It's cooking in the kitchen with gumbo, now I know Tommy. Once it's good and boiled, you're gonna wanna take it. Drain all that water out. Then you're gonna wanna pour it in an ice chest to keep it good and hot while you wait on your... Ow! Ow! <laughs> while you wait on your uh, mud bugs to get done. Don't that look good? Look at that. That way it keeps it good and hot. I'm sorry little boogers, it's just got to be done. I got my mud bugs, my corn, taters, sausage, some mushroom. I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take him and you're gonna twist him right there. Twist the bottom part off. You're gonna take this first little section off right here so you can get a hold of him. Then you're gonna squeeze him and just pull it out. Get that black stuff off. I don't like that black stuff. Mmm. Good eat. Put a little tighter with it. Gotta have your corn. Which is a little spicy, so you might need some beer to wash it down with. Then you got your sausage. Which is really spicy too. Suck another hand, Robbie. You suck another hand? That's where all the seasons at. Ooh, yeah, mm. Makes him happy when you suck his head. 
tighter than the mushroom and go behind it, see? Probably you need a one light to go with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if y'all like this video, be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up, comment it, let me know what you think. Cause uh, cooking mud bugs is fun. Just pull that booger on out of there like that. That's good eating. Hope y'all like the video.